Hi, I'm Dan. Um, I'm the co-founder of a company that's called Causal Factory that creates a solution that is called QuickText. Uh, what we do is, well, not so important. What uh, I think matters is what I want you to achieve. Um, and what, you see, hoteliers, I see them struggling with marketing or with direct booking, and I've seen them ever since I started in the hospitality industry uh, struggling about the same things. And I think uh, the reason why they struggle so much is actually because uh, there is something they don't really get about uh, marketing. And uh, the two things they don't really get about marketing is that uh, it's not about them or their product. It's about uh, the customer that is in front of so many choices and, well, basically has a lot of good options. I think um, hotels are very good at presenting a lot of choice. They are not very good at uh, helping the customer find uh, what he wants. The second point is uh, you, you, you're always speaking about, uh, like, I think you completely ignore the fact that you have customers that uh, don't, you see, they, have, they are on your website, but they have not made the decision. So what you, what you do is you try to make it very easy for them to click on book now. But in fact, you have much more customers than that that go to your, to your booking engine, to your website, sorry. You have the customers that know what they want, that are about two to six percent, and that's the ones that convert, and that would have converted as long as you have a decent booking engine. You have the customers that uh, are here by mistake, and you can't do nothing about them. But I think that if you want to increase significantly direct bookings, you should start to address customers that are still in the process of making the decision. Okay, so based on that insight, it's uh, basically I, I've tried to uh, make hotels able to create a certain proactivity towards their customers. So I, I leveraged uh, instant communication systems such as, uh, I don't know, uh, the live chat on your website, Facebook Messenger, SMS, uh, iMessages, uh, the messaging services of Booking.com because sometimes your customers have, um, they have made the decision, but their they 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 decision is not finished. Like, for example, I have a friend here, Thomas, if you mind, uh, you can come. Thomas is a hotelier from, um, from Belgium, and, uh, well, he gets messages from, uh, from his live chat, from uh, SMS, from whatever you want, but also from Booking.com. And what's striking about Thomas is that every day he gets about five to ten emails from Booking, uh, of customers that want to buy more from him. Fr from him. Uh, and also, uh, like, I also like to call another hotelier that is here. I actually, it's improvised. Uh, and it's Nizar. He knows that he's going to talk since, uh, well, I told him two minutes ago. Uh, because I think, like, you're probably fed up of, uh, of listening to people selling you the world. So I'd, I'd like to uh, just speak to people that are already knowing uh, quick text and that can give you a fair experience. So, insight. You want to uh, attract customers that are not decided yet and you want to become proactive. For that, you create a simple system that centralizes all the instant communication channels that you can think about. And uh, since it's a lot of work to answer on a one-to-one -one basis, you put on it a chatbot that is able to automate most of the answers that are, in fact, recurring. Because, big news, you're not so special. Your customer is. So, uh, maybe... Please, uh, it would be nice if you could just share your honest, true experience, the challenges uh, that you've faced, and how your, maybe your, your staff is actually opening his mind right now, because that's, that's the point. It's not about getting a few more percentage points of direct bookings. It's about uh, turning your marketing upside down 180 degrees and start focusing on your customers instead of your product. All right, thank you very much, Benjamin. Yes, I'm Thomas from Sea Hotels in Belgium. We have seven hotels near the Belgian coast. Uh, we do use Muse, we do use Quick Text. Um, and in fact, uh, we, we, we are changing something new in, in our hotel business. We don't want to tell anymore how good we are in what we do. We want the people, the customers, to experience themselves through communication, through flexibility, through choice, through everything uh, we talked about today. Uh, one of those uh, tools that help us with it is QuickText. Uh, it's like an, uh, a solution to have an omni-channel communication between uh, our customers and our hotels. 
So it, if, if you communicate with Messenger and F Facebook, or you send an SMS, or you using the live chat, uh, or sending an, an, as a message to booking.com, everything is bundled in one tool, and it can be replied immediately. Also, the AI bot that can answer certain default questions is a huge help for us. Um, so what is really important for us is uh, when the customer is doubting if he would book or not book, then we should grab him. Then we should change his mind and really let him book. Um, quick text is a big help for that. Uh, so in first instance, the, the automatic robot will answer certain questions. And uh, we have also the, the phone number of the, the, of the, the customer. So we let the receptionists, uh, if they miss a message that is picked up by the robot, then they just phone the person to follow up. They will phone the person and really ask, okay, did you book? How can we help you further with it? And in, in many uh, situations, we had a conversion. And that conversion of a direct booking is, is very important. And Nizar, maybe you want, because Nizar has another experience. He has, um, like, uh, I arrived at the worst moment of the life of his hotel because he was uh, under a lot of uh, uh, changes. Like, you, like, maybe you want to talk? So um, I'm from the Euston Square Hotel. We've only got the one hotel, but it's a central London hotel, and it operates um, over the year at around about 93-plus percent occupancy. We spent the last year renovating the hotel while it's still been open. So it's been really hard work, actually. I think I had dark hair at the beginning of it nine months ago. <laughs> um, but um, no, so I think that um, the two, and this really, I... Ben really told me like 30 seconds ago that, hey, come up and say something. So I think if I had to say about, talk about our experience with quick text, the first thing I would say is I reinforce the point that Ben makes, that in life, timing is crucial. Okay, so there's no point trying to get someone to press a book now button when they don't even know they want to stay in the hotel. And similarly, um, there's no point telling them about your spa or whatever it is you have. Uh, when actually all they want to do is get on and book. And I think um, using Zoe, and Zoe is the chatbot lady, and I just don't like calling her chatbot because she's really lovely. And um, <laughs> so, you know, the good thing with Zoe is she's able to help us decipher where that guest wants to be in that long process. And I'm not... 100% certain, but I, you know, I think we've actually taken a few books. If, if I'd have known I was up here, I'd have checked before. Yeah, I you do, like, but yeah. um, I, I actually think we've taken bookings without human intervention through quick text. Uh, we've certainly taken bookings which originated, the flow originates through Zoe and then gets finished off by um, someone human. Um, so I think already we've got an ROI and I've been so busy with renovating that I've not had much time in the last year to work on our tech platforms and our, all the different bits we can do. I'm quite excited about Zapier and some of the things I've heard about today, which hopefully we'll get to implement going forwards. But I think actually when I look at the quick text product, there's much more than we're, we're doing at the moment that we could be doing. Um, and I, I mean, I, I, I think that oftentimes when I put something into the hotel, you get a lot of resistance. And we probably got a little bit of resistance when we started Quick Text. But luckily, when I said to my GM, do we actually use Quick Text? You know, should we bother with it? And the guy, oh, no, 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 we use it. Which is a really, that's the best feedback you can have from your team. Because there are other times you say, oh, we brought this, I won't say what, but you know, we brought this bit of tech in. What do you think? And the guy says, oh, do we have that? And that's not the reaction you want. So I think that's... So I'd just like to have a closing thought. So I think by now you've all understood that basically what I'm selling is interaction. But in fact, um, what I'm giving you is an opportunity. An opportunity to think your marketing differently instead of always running in circles. Because, like, let's face it. But the thing is, you can have a technology if you don't really decide to change the way you do marketing, you will always have the same problem. Because uh, if you keep giving the same answer to all problems, you, you can't expect to have different results. So um, maybe today you will decide to take on this opportunity. And success is made of three things, of which you have uh, control over two. 
The first thing is talent. You can all buy books on Amazon. The right books will give you the right talents. You can, the second thing is hard work. I'm sure you're all, you're all hardworking people. But the key is when you get an opportunity in order to, make, to profit from it, are you able to actually uh, focus your talent and hard work on what really matters? Because I also hear hoteliers saying, uh, I'm always occupied. I'm, I, I have so much to do right now. And then I realized that uh, they're changing something that already works to something that will work slightly better, like, and not bring dramatic change to their hotel. So maybe now that we are moving from, yeah, I'm finishing. Now that we're moving from a world that is based on, uh, on web, which is basically, here is what I have, uh, help yourself, that was the first model of the web, to a world that is mobile, so based on interaction, and where you have something to say. Well, basically, if, you, if you're ready to, to take that opportunity that you've missed 20 years ago when the web started, which is basically making, uh, well, being available, that was what you missed 20 years ago. Now it's interact. But if this time you're ready to take the opportunity, then meet me at the end. I'm, I don't know if it was clear. <laughs>